Hello guys, this is Siv and uh, today we will uh, discuss how to make the uh, multilingual application in Qt visit application and Qt QML application. So first I will show you how to make the uh, Qt multilingual application in the visit. So first uh, uh, you need to make the UI in the visit and all the visits you want to add you need to add so in my case i have a red bar 4 button and i want to make the translation uh, in the spanish and in the english default will be in the english and the translated word will be open and close this text i want to uh, translate it in the spanish and in the english okay guys so after uh, making the ui you need to go in the dot .pro file of the project so in my case i am developing one qt visit application so i am going in the dot .pro file of my project and here you need to add this line so since i want to make the spanish translation from english to spanish and english will be my default language so I am using only one uh, ts file so this ts file you need to add so I have added here spanish.ts uh, in the translation so this syntax you need to uh, add translation plus equal spanish.ts so after adding this line you need to go into the uh, project directory current project directory so i am in my project directory test multilang visit and uh, you need to uh, use this uh, application l update this application you will find uh, in the qt installation directory for example in my case my qt installation directory is home save qt so inside that whatever version you are using you need to go there and i am going here in my gcc64 bin in the bin directory you will get this application so you need to call this application l update and your project.pro file so then you will hit the enter button in your keyboard this uh, spanish.ts file will be created in your current project working directory you will get this file okay guys so after that you need to call this linguist application this application uh, you will uh, get in your bin directory of the Qt installation so in my case you can see the path so when you will hit, hit the enter button uh, you will get this type of uh, application Qt Linguist and here you need to select that ts file spanish.ts you need to open here so when you will open your uh, uh, spanish.ts file uh, you will get all the words whatever you have put in your ui so i want uh, only to translate this open and close text in my application so for example i want to give the transcript word for this open text so i will select and here you can see you, you need to put the spanish word uh, with respect to open okay and after putting this word uh, by default you will get this symbol so you need to click on this so you will get the right green ok guys same for the close you need to select you need to put the translated word and you need to click on this question mark you will get the green signal after that you need to click this button save so after save uh, so after clicking on the save button uh, all the translated word will be saved in the ts file so after that what you need, you need to do you need to call the lrelease application instead of lupdate so now when i will click the enter button in my keyboard i will get this qm file spanish.qm ok guys so after all these activities uh, you need to uh, come again into the your Qt creator in the uh, project you need to come here and uh, you need to add the resource this resource so how to add this resource you need to click right click in your project and uh, add a new qt 
and resource when you will click here uh, you will be asked a name so i have uh, given a name resrc and inside that uh, resource you need to add your qm file whatever you have created okay guys so after adding this uh, qm file spanish.qm whatever you have created after the translation you need to come here in the header file in the header file you need to add this uh, header file to translator after that i will uh, take the class to translator and its object and translator and i will add this uh, uh, virtual function of, of my base class base class is a uh, main window how i will add this q change event virtual function you need to right click in this uh, in the class main window refactor insert virtual function of base class here you need to type change event change event so like this you need to click you, you need to uh, click on this uh, uh, this box and you need to click on the ok so you will get this uh, virtual function change event uh, declaration you will get here so after that what you need to do you need to go to the header file and you need to give the definition for this change event ok guys so here uh, i have written the code uh, I have taken the uh, pointer object of class Q event and I will check event type is language change. If it is, then I will uh, call this syntax UI uh, retranslate UI and I will pass the, this pointer. Here I have uh, set the uh, window title because uh, after uh, uh, happening any event, then uh, title will be disturbed. So after uh, happening any change in the language i want to make my uh, title same so that's why i have uh, called this syntax this set window title and my title multi line visit and here uh, i have called q visit change event and i have passed the event pointer here i have passed this inside the change event method so like this uh, your uh, virtual uh, uh, function change event uh, uh, logic has been completed here so here in the constructor of the main window in the constructor i have load that uh, spanish.qm file i have called this syntax and translator load and i have passed the path of my qm file so how uh, you will get this path you need to go in the uh, that qm file whatever you have added in the resource you need to right click and here you will see copy path this path you need to uh, take by clicking on this line and you need to paste here ok guys so after uh, loading this spanish.qm in the constructor you need to uh, call this uh, global pointer qapp ok guys you can see it is a global pointer and its method install <coughs> translator and i have pass here uh, reference of my Q translator object so this button is nothing but uh, it is the Spanish button whenever I will click on the Spanish button I will call this uh, QF install translator method and I will pass the reference of this Q translator object and uh, let me show you when I will click on this button click event I will come here same for the English, whenever I will click on the English button, let me show you, click, I will come here, in English I want to remove this translator, so when I will remove this uh, translator, I will get my default language, language English, so only this much you need to do for your application, you need to load the uh, translator with QM file, or you need to call this uh, global pointer QF with install translator method and you need to pass the reference of the uh, Q translator object install and remove in case of you want to remove the translation that's it so when you will uh, run your application you will get uh, let me run the application 
you will get this type of UI. So when I will click this Spanish button, this Spanish button, this logic will be called QF install translator and the reference of this Q translator object. So let me click on this button Spanish. So appropriate word whatever you have given in the TS file, you will see here after translation. And when I will click the English button, so this translator will be removed and I will get my default language in this. So let me click. Yes, you can see here. Okay, so uh, this is our visit application, you can see. So how we can achieve the same multilingual, uh, how we can do the multilingual in the QML application. So let me show you. So this is now my QML application. So here also you need to first uh, make your UI in the QML, like you can see. Let me show you. Let me run my application. In the QML. So you need to add the uh, whatever uh, text you want, Spanish, English and open close. Like that you need to design, you need, you need to write the code. Okay. So after uh, making the UI, you need to do the same thing. You need to uh, add uh, this line translation plus equal to Spanish.ts. You need to again in the current working directory, you need to call this uh, L update and L release as I shown you. L update to create the TS file, same procedure whatever you did for the visit. Okay, guys. And you need to open the cute linguist, you need to make the translation, you need to save the file, you need to click on this question mark to. Uh, convert it into the green right okay so after saving after doing all the activity you need to uh, add you need to add this uh, spanish.com in the resource file same procedure you need to add the resource and you, you need to add the spanish file spanish.com file till here procedure is same after that you need to uh, create one uh, header file mylang.ph here uh, uh, I took one enum file and I have given this uh, enum I took the enum span and I have given a word one and I have registered my enum ok guys to use in the QML so that I can use this class in the uh, class and this enum in my QML file and in my my trans.header file I have added a uh, few translator I have included included this uh, header file Q translator Q view application for uh, uh, QF global pointer because in the QML project uh, uh, default uh, you can't call this until you add this uh, header file Q view application okay and here I have added my enum uh, header file and Q debug here you need to add this uh, Q property empty string getter and signal in the getter i have i am returning uh, empty string and this is my signal in the slot uh, i took uh, <coughs> slot update language here i have uh, i am using a switch statement whatever language i will pass through my enum switch will accordingly <coughs> Uh, transfer the control in the appropriate case for example I want to convert uh, my translation into the Spanish so I have taken the case my lang span this is my enum here I am loading uh, object through the object of my Q translator here in the private section I have uh, taken the class Q translator and appropriate object for the Q translator and this object I am using to load the QM file whatever I have added in the resource section so I am calling uh, mtrans load and my spanish.qm so path you can get same as I told you you need to right click and take this path <laughs> and uh, through this uh, global uh, pointer I am calling this uh, install translator I'm, and I am passing this uh, reference uh, of this uh, object Q translator same uh, as we did in the visit application and in case of default I am removing my translator so I am passing the reference of the uh, <coughs> uh, this Q translator object to remove the 
translation so that I can get my default language English. Okay, guys. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, guys. So in the main dot CTP, I'm registering my uh, enum class, and uh, I'm uh, passing the reference of my object of my uh, my trans in the set context property so i will use this word my trans in my qml for this uh, class object okay guys so in the main dot uh, <coughs> qml after making the ui so when i will click on the spanish button i am calling my update length slot and i am passing my enum span for the spanish and for the english i am passing default Okay, guys. And one more thing. Uh, for example, uh, I want to translate this uh, open and close. So you need to call this method qstr. Inside that, you need to pass this word. Otherwise, this word will not be translated. And uh, you need to call this uh, q property string. Because whenever uh, when you will click this button, whenever you will click this button in Spanish or English, signal will be Call. Let me show you. After switch, I am emitting the signal. When signal will be uh, emitted, this uh, gutter will emit empty string, and this empty string will give the signal to QML that uh, translation need to be done. If you will not uh, add this uh, empty string here, your translation will not happen. So you need to add uh, in each. Uh, with each string you need to add this input string okay guys so after doing all this uh, stuff you need to run your application so let me run so this is my QML application so when I will click on the Spanish this open and code will convert into the Spanish you can see and when I will click in the English it will be converted into the English and uh, one more thing uh, in the i forgot in the main dot uh, cpp after uh, resting your uh, enum class you need to add in the you need to add the import also okay otherwise you can't uh, use this uh, enum here so hope guys you got the idea how to uh, make the multilingual application in the qt visit and in the qt qml application so do practice thank you so much bye bye